Hi there smart monkeys and welcome to my channel. Grid 8, welcome back to your second video on algebra. In this video, I'm going to be using the knowledge that we learned in video number one, where we look at the basics of algebra. And now I'm going to teach you how to use that and actually multiply uh, variables and numbers together. Right, so without further ado, let's do this. All right, grade eight. So I'm going to be teaching you now how to do multiplication with algebra. Okay, so let's start. So multiplication, firstly, in algebra can be expressed in various ways. So before I can teach you how to actually multiply, it's important that I teach you to know when that question is actually saying multiplication and what that actually looks like. So there are various ways that uh, multiplication can be implied in algebra. And the first one is obviously the normal multiplication sign. Then also you can just have a dot which also represents multiplication. You can then have a bracket and then you can I have both variables in a bracket. So in this situation, credits, all of these actually mean the same thing. All of these means x multiplied by x. But there are just different ways in which they um, show you that they want you to multiply. But it all is, is the same thing. Okay, So that's the first thing I want you to understand. Then the next thing I want you to understand is that when we're dealing with... Um, Variables and multiplying, you have to understand how powers work. So powers are exponents are the numbers that are actually um, above. So it's the small number on the top right of an actual value. Right? So what this means is, is that 2 multiplied by 2 is also written as 2 squared. So when I'm squaring a number, it means I'm multiplying that number by itself 2 times. If this was a 3, then that means I was multiplying the number by itself 3 times, right? So, then 2 to the power of 2 means 2 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 4. So, this is the same thing. This works exactly the same when working with variables. So, if I say x multiplied by x, then that means I've got x squared. And because x is an unknown value that we don't know what this actually is, we leave the answer as is. We don't write as with 2 to the power of 2, we say the answer is 4. Here the answer remains x squared because we do not know what x represents or what value x represents. Okay, so what I actually am trying to show you here is that if I say x multiplied by x, then that means I essentially have two x's and that's why the power would then be 2. The same would work as if I said x times x times x, the power would then be 3 because the power represents you are multiplying this base by itself 3 times. And that's how it will go on. So if I have a look here, okay, firstly, if you note, this is all multiplication, right? So this dot multiply multiplication. So whatever I, whatever rules um, it applies to multiplication is what we will apply here. Right, so if you have a look, this x has got a power of 1, this has got a power of 3, this has got a power of 1, and this has got a power of 2. So, just like all of these, I'm now going to add the powers and it will tell me what the power of the final answer is actually going to be. So, here this is 1 plus the 3 gives me now 4x's, then I have another x which is 5, and then I have two more x's, and that gives me a total of 7x's. Okay, so this is important because when we get to actually, where I show you actually how to do multiplication, um, you have to know how these powers and how the exponents work and how to identify when the question is a multiplication question. Lastly, you have to understand multiplying signs. Now, in grade 8, um, you should know this by now, it's where we are multiplying or dividing powers, okay, but in this video it's just multiplying. So what do I mean by signs? Or, 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 sorry, I didn't mean powers, I meant signs. 
So if I look here, whenever I've got a negative value multiplied by a negative value, then the answer is going to be positive. If I have a positive value multiplied by a positive value, the answer is also going to be positive. So how does this look? If I have a negative x multiplied by another negative x, so this is actually a negative multiplied by a negative, will give me a positive, okay, because negative times negative is a positive, will give me a positive, and then this x times this x is x to the power of 2, which is what we learned over here. The same will work with if it's a positive. So this, if there isn't a, a sign in front of this, obviously that means that it's a positive. Okay, so this is a positive times a positive, and the answer will be a positive. But if the signs are different, so let's say I've got a positive multiplied by a negative, or I've got a negative multiplied by a positive. In other words, the two are not the same. That means the answer will be negative. So in this case, both of these were negative, so the answer is positive. Both of these were positive, so the answer is positive. But in this case, if they are different, the answer will be negative. So what does this look like? It says positive x times negative x. This is a positive multiplied by a negative will then give us a negative answer. And then the x multiplied by the x, which we learned in this section, is x to the power of 2. Okay, the same as if this is negative and that is positive, I will also end up with negative x to the power of 2. Okay, so this is just the foundation that you need in order to actually understand how um, to actually multiply variables. Okay, so let's go and let me teach you actually how to do this. So we are now going to do multiplications that includes numbers and variables. Okay. So, the method that you will use or that you will memorize is sign, number, letter, right? So, you are going to multiply the signs first, then you are going to multiply the numbers second, and then you're going to multiply the letters, okay, for each question. So, let me show you what we mean. If I look at the first example, this is a positive value multiplied by a positive value, right? Because there's no negative signs. So I've got a positive value multiplied by a positive value means I'm going to have a positive answer. This is the sign. Now I'm going to move to the numbers. 3 multiplied by 9 is 27. So that will be our number section. Then lastly, we will multiply the letters. So x multiplied by x, which we learned in the previous slide, is 2x's x to the power of 2. So the answer to this question is then 27x squared. Okay, isn't that simple? Okay, let's try and do another one. Negative 3x times negative 9x to the power of 2. Right, so again we start with a sign. We've got a negative times a negative. Now we learn that if the signs are the same, the answer is positive. Then we move to the numbers. 3 multiplied by 9 is 27. And then now note, I've got 1x here multiplied by 2x's here. So this will now give me 3x's. And so my answer is 27x to the power of 3. Okay, hopefully you're getting the hang of this. Okay, now the next one. If I look at this now, again, I'm going sign, number, letter. So if I go with a sign, I say positive multiplied by a negative value is a negative. Then that negative multiplied by a positive gives me a negative. Because a positive times a negative, remember if they're different, is a negative. Now I'm done with the sign. And now I move to the numbers. 3 multiplied by 9 is 27. Multiplied by 2 is 54. Then I look at my x's. If I look, how many do I have in total? I've got 2 next to the negative 9, and I've got 1 next to the 3. So together, I have 3. And so my answer for this is negative 54, x to the power of 3. Okay, last one. Now, you see, when we have a question like this, a lot of students go, Oh my word, I don't understand what this is or what they're asking from me. 
simple. If we look at this, we see this is a multiplication question. So we were able to identify it. So this is a multiplication question. Then if it's a multiplication question, we use the method sign number letter. So we're just going to follow those steps. So let's go. This is the sign. This is negative times a positive is a negative. Multiplied by a positive is a negative. So that's our sign. Then we go to the numbers. 2 multiplied by 9 is 18. Multiplied by 2 is 36. That's the number. And then lastly, and now what you would see here, you see that we have x's and y's here. So you're going to have an answer for x and you're going to have an answer for y. So you have got x to the power of 1 and another x to the power of 2 and an x to the power of 2 there. And so all of this together is x to the 5. And now I look at the y's. This one has got a power of 1, this one's got a power of 1, and this one's got a power of 2. So 2, 1, 1 gives me 4. So the answer to this question is then negative 36, x to the 5, y to the 4. And that's how you multiply variables. So let me give you an exercise to try. And then I'm going to ask you to please pause the video. Try and do the answers yourself. And then when you are done, unpause the video. And I will give you the answers to the exercise. All right, so hopefully you completed that exercise. Please remember that maths can only really be learned if you actually do the work, okay? So I'm asking you, please make sure that you tempt the questions before you just come and have a look at the answers. Okay, so let's see how you did, right? So the first one was x to the 2 times x y, and so that means I've got three x's and one y. The second one, I just add all the powers together, and that would give me x to the 7, right? The third one, I've got how many x's? 3 x's and 4 y's. So your answer is x to the 3, y to the 4. So for the first three questions, there were no numbers, so you just had to work with the variable. So in the sign number letter exercise, you could have, you just literally used the letter section. If this was negatives, or if this was a combination of negatives and positives, then you would have done sign and letter. Okay, but in this case, all of them were positive, right? And um, there were no numbers, so you could have you could skip the first uh, two steps. Right, now we start getting numbers um, and variables. So the next one, D, this is positive and this is a negative, so the answer is negative. 24 times 2 is 48, so it's negative 48. And then into all together you have 4 y's, and so your answer is negative 48 y to the power of 4. Guys, I hope you're getting this right. And remember, if you're not getting it right, it's fine. Write down the correct answer, right? And make a note for yourself to remember where you're going wrong. So that if you are doing something or if you are not getting the answer, listen to how I taught it or listen to what I'm saying as to how I got the answer, and try to make sure that you remember that for when you actually have to write tests. Okay, then the next one is negative 6x to the squared times 4. So this is negative, so we're doing sign number letter, right? So this is negative times positive is negative, and then negative times negative is positive. And then the numbers multiplied by each other is 48. I've got 3x's and 3y's in total. Last question. Look at all the signs. Negatives times negative is a positive. Positive times negative is a negative. No, sorry. Yeah, is a negative. And then the negative times positive is still a negative. Right? Then I go 8 times 2 times 4 is 64. And then I've got x. There's 1. There's 2. And there's another 1. So that gives me 4. Here's y, 3. And here's y, 1. And I end up with a total of y to the 4. All right, so I hope you guys got all of it right, and if you didn't, that you made the notes and you at least now know where you're going wrong, so that you can easily multiply an algebraic expression. All right, thank you so much for watching, and the next video I will teach you how to do division. So, grade 8, 
there's that video on multiplication i hope this made you understand how to do this so much better i hope that yeah that you just know how to multiply now and yeah if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or any comments in the comment section um yeah and if you have any recommendations for future videos do let me know um then i will see you in the next video where we will be looking at division within algebra see you guys <laughs> bye